A lot of talk recently has been all about VR, but what about the HoloLens, Microsoft's augmented reality headset? We don't know a huge amount about it, of course we already know about the FOV which has drawn quite a bit of criticism, and on that topic Microsoft's Bruce Harris shared a few new tidbits of info on the HoloLens at an event in Tel Aviv. Now, according to him, the HoloLens wireless can run up to 5.5 hours on a single charge when used normally. Heavy usage will apparently knock that down to about 2.5 hours, but sadly, they don't actually define what heavy usage means. Now, the aforementioned field of view is kind of not sounding too amazing, as apparently it will have a field of view similar to a person, quote, standing two feet away from a 15-inch monitor. And we've also heard before, you know, a few times now, that the FOV is similar to a pack of cards, as to what the augmented part will actually be. So, <laughs> mixed feelings so far. Now it will also connect to all tethered devices via Bluetooth and even Wi-Fi if located in different rooms of the house, which is nice. Now, sadly he didn't offer an estimated price, probably learning from the hard-learnt lessons of Oculus, but he did say in order to keep the price down, the battery life and field of view were limited to what I already discussed. And obviously once the manufacturing process has been improved, Microsoft will then adjust the price. Now, obviously there is a dev kit for the HoloLens um, available to developers this year, and we're running about $3,000, but that's no indication of the consumer model price tag. I very much doubt that it will be anywhere even in the ballpark of that much for the final version. As we already know, we'll of course support all native Windows 10 devices, and the dev kit will contain hardware similar to what was shown earlier last year. So, yeah, the HoloLens sounds like a really cool concept and, you know, it'd be interesting to see how it's actually used for gaming and just generally speaking and what people actually make of it when they actually get to use it, but the field of view is definitely concerning. The battery life is not too terrible. I mean, obviously it'd be better if it was not 2.5 hours on heavy usage, but 5 hours is alright. But the fact that they've limited the FOV to cut down costs is a bit of a shame, but of course, without knowing the full price, I can't really comment on whether or not that was worth it without knowing in comparison of a wider FOV what that would have cost versus to the final price, which of course we don't even know yet. So I'm sort of less keen on HoloLens the more I hear on it, but um, I'll wait and see for the final consumer version before making any final judgments, of course. But, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. What do you think of the HoloLens? Is it going to fail? Is it, is it going to succeed? Or are you kind of like me and you're really unsure and kind of dubious of its success? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.